Hello, in this short video, I'm gonna talk about some more tips and tricks for uh, bending suspenders without having to unbend sections. Uh, we don't want to be unbending and bending sections of steel rebar. This decreases the ductility of the material. It makes it more brittle structure uh, and it is more um, susceptible to fatigue failure and susceptible to uh, sudden failure, especially on bridge suspenders. So, first of all, uh, when our rebar is delivered, and this is specifically for projects in Bolivia because rebar is delivered in bent sections that are 12 meters long, but they are bent in half at six meter lengths. So, first what you're gonna do, uh, as you see in the videos, is you're gonna cut these into two meter sections. You're gonna have a series of usable sections a, B, we'll label them A, B, E, and F are going to be usable uh, like normal and you can follow the normal course videos, but section C and D are gonna have a light bend to them because they are gonna create this U shape that uh, is um, you know, inherent with the delivery. So what we're saying here is that we do not want you to unbend sections C and D. So here I've drawn section C and D. Do not go ahead and unbend those to straight just to be bending them again. We want to save that bent section. Uh, we'll go through the rest of the process with um, you know, cutting, measuring, and bending the hook into the rebar that hooks into the crossbeam, which I'll show in this, this short uh, little infographic here. So we have our bent section. We will still bend the hook into it that hooks into the crossbeam. But then when we actually uh, go to install that rebar, we'll install it with its hook and the cross beam, and we'll have that bent section match up. So that's the part that actually gets wrapped around the handrail cable. Uh, and then this length here ends up being about 1.1 meters, I believe. Um, that's not important. In this specific case, what's more important is that um, you are using that already bent section to wrap that around the handrail and uh, bending it. So we avoid unbending each piece of rebar and then bending it again to wrap around the handrail, which once again, like I said before, is going to uh, decrease the ductility of the material and make it more susceptible to uh, sudden failure. 